What's up everyone, back here for another video. Uh, looks like you guys really like my analysis on these stocks. So I'm gonna kind of keep making videos like this, keep going through it. But before I get into Tesla shareholder meeting, let's talk about GameStop one last time. So on Friday, GameStop closed minus 40%. We had three negative catalysts on the stock. Negative catalyst number one was the bad earnings. Negative catalyst number two was the 75 million share at the market offering. Negative catalyst number three was Roaring Kitty giving us the most disappointing stream in history. So let's talk about this real quick. So GameStop is going to need a new catalyst to bottom the stock and rebound the stock. And I think I have an idea about what that catalyst is. So as you guys know, they did a 75 million share offering, which equates to about $3 billion, right? I think that they're probably going to need about another one or two more days of selling that offering before they come out and put out a press release. And what I think that press release is going to be is they're going to say something along the lines of, hey guys, we just finished our offering. We now have $5 billion worth of cash in the bank. We're going to be using that money for strategic acquisitions and it's going to keep the lights on for the next 10 years. When they put that out, that should be a potential bottom signal for the stock. So I think that's probably going to come out like Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. I think they're still going to need a couple more days to sell off the stock because the lack of liquidity that's happening right now you know, it stock traded, you know, 280 million shares on Friday. I think it traded like 50 million shares today. So it all really just depends. So I think that until GameStop has another catalyst, whether it be, you know, that the offering is complete with a press release or something else, I think the stock is going to keep selling off. So Roaring Kitty, let everyone down. Uh, I mean, it was hilarious to see him with the cast and this and that. And you guys are funny. In the last video, you guys left comments like full conspiracy theorists like, the reason why he had a cast on, the reason why he was in a hospital bed is because he was sending us signals that people attacked him and people hurt him and he's no longer able to fulfill his plan because he's so hurt, right? And then on Sunday, he posted a meme from Batman, right? He posted a meme with Joker from Batman and people are like, you know, Joker said it's not about the money. It's just about, you know, seeing the world burn. So a lot of people are having different conspiracy theories about GameStop for me. I don't know what the conspiracy theory is. If he said he wanted to be a long-term investor, why'd he buy short-term expiration options? It doesn't really make sense to me. What I think as well is he's probably gonna have a new stock pick soon as well. Because his whole thing is deep freaking value, right? So who knows, maybe he's gonna come out and be like, hey guys, I looked at the numbers of BlackBerry. And I think BlackBerry's uh, underperforming. I think it's undervalued. Let's buy some BlackBerry and shit's gonna go straight up. So I think that GameStop was a test to see how much influence and power he has. And then I think that probably in the next couple weeks or in the next couple months, there's gonna be a new stock that he picks. So let's see if that's gonna happen. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. So now let's talk about Tesla. So about 10 years ago, Tesla was a struggling company and they were on the verge of bankruptcy. And Elon Musk came out and said, hey, listen guys, I don't wanna take any salary, I don't wanna take any payroll, but if I'm able to 10X the market cap of Tesla, I want to be rewarded with a certain amount of stock options on the company, right? And everyone said he's crazy. Everyone said there's no way you're going to be able to 10x this company. The company is going to go bankrupt. Everyone counted him out, right? And legally, they had to pay him minimum wage. So Elon Musk was making minimum wage for the past 10 years as the leader of Tesla. Now, what happened? During the pandemic, Tesla's valuation went nearly as high as a trillion dollars. So he nearly 20X'd the valuation, right? Which is absolutely insane if you think about it, right? And what they had to do is they had to have the shareholders approve this pay package before he did anything else, right? So you can't just make up the rules as a public company. You need your shareholders to back you. So 10 years ago, Elon Musk said, if I 10 times the company, I want this amount of stock options. And 76% of the investors said, yeah, Fuck yeah, because the investors think if this guy actually 10x is the company, I'm going to make 10 times my money. And if not, at least he's not getting paid and I lose nothing. So it's almost like a win-win. Either A, he does it and everyone wins, or B, he doesn't do it and whatever. So 75% of the shareholders voted yes on this compensation, right? And what ended up happening, like I said, during the pandemic, the valuation went to nearly a trillion dollars. And I think his stock options were worth at that point, 56, $57 billion, right? And the thing you have to know about Elon and Tesla is when you're that rich, 
all of your money is locked into the stock market, right? Because if Elon comes out and says, hey guys, I'm selling stock because of X, Y, Z, the investor's like, oh my God, the CEO is selling, what the hell am I gonna do? So the way that all these rich people are able to find liquidity, find money when their stock is tied up is they go to a big bank like a Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan, they say, hey, this is my stock, use it as collateral, let me borrow against it at the current interest rate, right? So let's say the current interest rate is 5%, He'll go to JP Morgan and be like, hey, I need $10 billion at the going 5% rate. Knowing them, they probably get it at even lower, like 2% because they got so much money. I need this and you could use my stock as collateral, right? And that's how he was able to buy Twitter. He bought Twitter for 50, whatever, 44 billion, 50 billion, whatever it was, because he borrowed against the stock. Now, the problem is that in Delaware, a judge said, you know what, Elon? This sounds like a little bit too much money you're not gonna get paid this much. And then you think in your head, what right does a judge have to say someone is making too much or too little money when 75% of the shareholders approved it, right? 75% of the shareholders, this is a major, major, major majority that approved it. So now people are fearful because they're like, oh my God, if he doesn't get his stock options, which are now worth 56 billion, and again, this is not cash, these are stock options. The reason why he opted in for stock options because he believes that the value will go up rather than cash that will just depreciate. So now a lot of people are thinking and a lot of people are speculating that if he does not get his compensation, that he may have to sell Tesla stock to cover some of the margin obligation on his debt for Twitter, okay? So this is a very important vote that's coming into play this Thursday. This Thursday and Friday will move Tesla in a very, very big way. Let me give you two scenarios. Scenario number one is it does not get approved, right? His compensation for the second time doesn't get approved. There's two things on the docket for this shareholder meeting that everyone's looking for. Number one is moving their company incorporation out of Delaware and into Texas. They're moving it out of Delaware because the Je Delaware judge is corrupt and is trying to make sure he doesn't get his money, right? That's number one. Number two is they're looking for the investors to reconfirm that pay package. They want the investors to come back and say, hey, listen, I know it's been a long time. This judge said X, but do you guys still think that Elon deserves the pay package that 75% of people agreed on 10 years ago? And in my opinion, what I think is gonna happen is gonna be yes, because Tesla shareholders have made so much money from Elon that they trust him and they wanna make sure he gets paid for his hard work. Think about it, the guy was making minimum wage for 10 years, waiting for his options to kick in if he performed well. Think about as another public company, if you tell the CEO, you're gonna get minimum wage for 10 years unless you 10 times the company, or you could take a salary. Most people are gonna take the salary, but Elon didn't. So there's two possible scenarios that are gonna happen this Thursday. Scenario number one is his pay package gets approved. If his pay package gets approved, that means that investors are gonna have more confidence in Tesla because now Elon is gonna be an even bigger shareholder. He's gonna have even more power and that's what investors want. Investors want Elon to be the king of Tesla because he's proven time and time again that he can raise the value of the company. So if that passes, I think Tesla's going straight up Thursday, Friday. Now, devil's advocate. If the pay package does not pass, I think this is gonna be completely detrimental to Tesla. I think a lot of investors are gonna lose hope because now Elon is not gonna have as big of a percentage. He might have to sell stock to cover his Twitter debt. And I think it's just gonna be very, very bad for the stock. So this Thursday is gonna be completely important for Tesla stock. It's gonna cause a big move in the stock and in the options market. If I was a betting man, if I was a guessing man, I would assume that's gonna pass simply because the investors and the retail shareholders love Elon. But if not, I think it's gonna be a bloodbath. So what do you guys think? Do you think the shareholder vote is gonna pass? Do you think it's not gonna pass? Do you think what the Delaware judge was that did was correct or incorrect? And what do you think is gonna happen with GameStop? So let me know guys. And if you guys keep liking these videos, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll come back with more videos. Thanks.